plaintiff, Crystal Wilcher, met the defendant in middle school and then became roommates with her after they both left college. Crystal claims while living together, the defendant snuck her girlfriend in and she refused to leave. So Crystal called the police and she was escorted out. Crystal suing for a security deposit and rent. Defendant Triana Fielding says she too was escorted out by the police along with her girlfriend. And Crystal hasn't tried to contact her since she left. She's counter suing for a cell phone. Start with you. All right, so um, me and Triana met in middle school. It was about sixth or seventh grade. So um, we met and she was just, you know, like kind of funny, you know, personally I felt like I could be around. So um, that friendship kind of like, you know, turned into like, um, just like something that I was just like, okay, this is a good friend, you know, we could be best friends. So we were pretty much best friends until like eighth grade, but we kind of like, just like grew apart because we were on our way to high school and growing to two separate high schools. So after that, we went to high school and it was about senior year, we started talking again because we um, found out we were going to the same college. So around like, you know, we were moving in for college and everything and just like things were just different from middle school. Like she wasn't like the exact same person as she used to be. Like it just seemed like she was more nonchalant. She didn't really like care about too much. So like I kind of like- Where do you like, think that came from? Um, I really don't know. Like, like I said, I hadn't spoke to her for a good like mm -hmm. three years. So I wasn't sure like what had changed, but you know, like a lot of people change in high school. So mm -hmm. yeah. that's kind of just what I figured. Plaintiff Crystal Wilcher is suing her former roommate who claims Crystal had the police escort her and her girlfriend out of their apartment. Go ahead. So um, after that, we went to college together. And like I said, it just wasn't the same, but you know, like she was my best friend for like, I could remember she was the first actual friend I had. So I just wanted to keep that friendship. So like, you know, we kept talking everything during college and eventually I ended up leaving college during COVID time. So I had left and eventually she ended up leaving as well. So we um, started talking again afterwards and pretty much like we were saying like how we wanted to get an apartment and everything. So that was like pretty much the plan for the most of like that was our goal. So after that, we um, we had talked about this one apartment, but like we were kind of like ask you, you all not going back to school. Um, I go to school. I go to school online, though. OK, how about you? Um, I'm taking a break from right now. Why? It got a little expensive for the first semester. For the what semester? First semester. I was it was too expensive to go the first? Yes. Well, you didn't go then. I mean, I went, but after I went back for second semester, they told me it got a little bit more expensive, so. All right. What you suing her for? Tell me what happened here. So pretty much after that, um, we had decided to move in together. So I let her know that the first amount that the guy wanted was 600 for a move-in fee. So I talked to her about it and I was like, he wants it in a certain time frame, so we have to have it in. So as I was talking to her, like she basically was saying she didn't have the money. So I was like, okay, I'll pay for it. You could just pay like me afterwards. So I gave the guy um, the money and he was like, okay, well now like you need to pay three months of rent and everything and submit like all your paperwork. So I had told her, I was like, we need to pay three months of rent. The amount was $1,199. So um, with um, times three times. So after that, I had told her the amount and everything. And like, as I was talking to her, she like kind of like had that kind of like, I don't have that money type look. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'll pay for that too. Just like pay me back with the other amount that you owe me. So I told her that and she was like, okay, we made agreement and we signed the lease the same day. I gave the guy the money and we moved in. And everything was pretty much fine, like the first like three um, weeks. And then after that, like it got towards like the end of June, kind of like things just kind of started getting strange, like her behavior. So I, um, I like knocked on her door to talk to her. And like she like peeked her head through the door, which was strange because usually like she comes out to like talk. So when I was like, okay, like, are you okay? Whatever, like she said, yeah, you know, like the short brief um, comment. So I went back into like, you know, like the kitchen just sat down and then I was like, what if like, it was just like really strange. So eventually I found out like she had snuck her girlfriend into our apartment and I approached her about it. Now, when I approached her, like she kind of like- snuck. Like place. I didn't know she was there in our apartment the whole time. She couldn't have visitors? Uh, yes, but like- She was living there. Like, yeah, it was past a week. Okay. So after that, I tried to confront her, I tried to ask her like, when is she gonna leave? And she was like, basically she just kept getting like attitudes with me. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to like work this out. So I left the situation alone, but it got to the point to where like the bills weren't being um, paid. We're like, we're a month behind rent. So they added on additional hundred dollar fee. And so like I sat her down, I was like, okay, we need to work this out. Your girlfriend needs to leave and we need to get our house back in order because we're behind on bills. So as I said that, she kind of had this like 
like I was joking, like she wasn't taking it seriously. She didn't believe me. So I called the cops and I had them escort her girlfriend off. And she went with her girlfriend. Like she, I, nobody told her to leave. I just, I told her your girlfriend has to leave, not you. So basically after that, like, um, I got a call from my landlord. He's telling me that her and her mom are basically telling him all these lies. Like I'm not affording the bills. I'm not paying anything. When he showed them the receipt and every um, transaction was coming from me. So that's basically the whole story. Plaintiff Crystal Wilcher is suing her former roommate, who claims Crystal had the police escort her and her girlfriend out of their apartment. And when you've asked for your money in recent times, what has she, she said? She never responded. As a matter of fact, she had her mom contact me instead of her contacting Saying me. what? What the mom said? The mom, okay, it was really strange. Like, the mom was like, she doesn't owe you any money. Like, she doesn't owe you all this. Like, she's paid. I'm like, she hasn't paid anything. So, basically, it was just her mom, like, just trying to, like, go around the situation, making it seem like she didn't have to pay me that much. And I showed the mom the receipts, and then, like, she just kind of, like, just, like, kept getting off the subject. So, like, she would never let me actually talk to Triana, and Triana never actually reached out to me, because I texted she her before. She wouldn't let you talk to her. Yeah. And you believe she lied and said that uh, she didn't owe you anything. Yeah. You, you saying her mother was lying. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, what do you want to tell me happened here? Um, Your Honor, um, yes, like, like the plaintiff said, I was kicked out. Uh, I wouldn't say kicked out while me and my girlfriend was escorted out. She told the officer that me and her, my girlfriend had to leave. And I was just respecting her and I actually left because it was five o'clock in the morning and I just got off work. I worked the night shift at Amazon. And um, she hasn't actually tried to contact me. I've contacted her multiple times about this. Well, she's here today. Well, yes. What do you yes. want to say? <laughs> What do you want to do today? I, I look, I love my friend. Bad things that happen. That's a bad thing. Don't, I, that, I, I really love my you. friend. And Let's talk I, about this money today, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I had every intention of paying well, her she's back. She's here. Yeah. So is there a problem today with you paying her? Uh, I don't have the money, Your Honor. So what were you going? How were you going to pay when I've you been had paying this her event? back. I've been paying her back. I, I initially already had paid her four hundred dollars. Okay. That I had missed. Um, and, well, she says one thousand seven ninety nine for the rent and the one hundred for the move in fee. Do you owe that amount? Uh, I don't believe so, Your Honor. How much do you believe you owe? Um, I paid my part because at so the you time don't believe I'm, I'm you owe. Currently... How much do you just said you believe you owe though? And that's why I'm asking. I'm what did sure. you and your mother come up with as the amount owed? Because did your mother call her about it? I no, I actually didn't give her mom my mom my number. Uh -huh. You know, I didn't give her any did of that. Did your mother we, call I, her about it? She been calling my mom. To be perfectly honest, I talked to Crystal, and I have reached out on her, and then we reached no, out no, to each other. And that's I, what I'm. Let's talk about what I'm talking about. Yeah. I heard all that. Okay. If your mother reached out to her, do you have knowledge of that? Not really. No. You have. You didn't know. I that. wasn't with my mother. Ma'am, you didn't know. Your mother reached out to her? No. They were having their own private conversation. I'm sorry. So that means they did talk. <laughs> Take a hike. Your counterclaim is dismissed. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. I did try to reach out to you. So I don't know whether if I was blocked or anything, because I even told your mom, I was like, I've been trying to reach her. She hasn't responded. So I do want to let you know that it's not like, you know, like this, this friendship, it's, it's, it's not, it's not the same. And I don't think it ever was, to be honest. And I feel like we kind of just started it on really rocky terms to begin with. So it wasn't going to last. I thought we could be friends. I reached out to you multiple times. You read my message, sent me off, everything. Hey, I'm here. We're here. What's up?